Fractal geometry is something that has uh, had a significant influence on the formal elements in my work. I use a, a very basic, simplified fractal pattern. This is a reference to an idea that was found in many indigenous knowledge systems even before the advent of modern science, and that's the idea that all living things are interconnected. I've been working with the Deconstructed Book series for more than a decade now. It's based on a short story by the Argentinian writer Jorge Luis Borges, in which he uses the library as a metaphor for the universe. I choose the books very specifically. It's a combination of the look, the feel, the paperweight, the text, the paper of the book, the cover, and more importantly, the subject matter and content. It's interesting to me how I often seem to find an obscure book at the very moment where I'm working with some specific content. There's a weird way where my focus kind of makes these books manifest when I go to a second-hand bookshop or a flea market. So there's a combination of chance and serendipity that plays a role in the books that I use. Collecting plays a very big role in the way I work um, and I do this in several different ways. Firstly, by collecting books from second-hand shops and flea markets. Also, by using my scalpel and my scissors to physically cut and collect from different books. And then lastly, I use my camera because obviously certain books are not meant to be cut up. So then if there are certain images or objects inside the book that I would want to work with, I use my camera to glean from the pages and then I reprint. I use a variety of analog and digital processes in my work. I start out in an analog way, then I revert to digital processes and towards the end I go back to working in an analog manner. One would think there would be an easier way to go about it, but working in this manner where I cut out, compose, re-photograph, cut out again, recompose, allows for elements of chance to be introduced into the work and for a richer layering of meaning. There's always been a very strong environmental focus in my work. I used to be very interested in the idea of solastalgia, which was a term that was coined by the environmental philosopher Glenn Albrecht. He used a combination of the Latin word solasium and the Greek root alge, which respectively means comfort and grief. It refers to a kind of homesickness that you feel when you're still at home, but home is left. I'm finding myself at a point now where I'm looking for new ways of thinking and creating again. The urgency of this is underlined not only by psychological issues and environmental damage that we face with at the moment, but also the awareness of, of several historical cultural injustices that have come to the forefront. I think as artists we can ask what we can do differently, how we can start rethinking the ways in which we attribute to the shaping of these narratives.